traditionally standard 2-1-2 split. A little bit different for a map like Ancient, though, and Castle stringing three of them together with the duelies before Rolf's able to take him down. And Celio already off to that strong start as Dad is set up to take out these rat last remaining two. Running one of which, even jump peeking to get that util information that he's still there. And good patience, not dead. Will be put onto Castle to try to respond because that MP9 does not like taking those long range duels most of the time. That's exactly what Castle will be able to do. Use that M4, pick off these pistols at a decent enough range. And now Rolf, the last remaining, and that bomb is left on the other side of mid, so he has to be able to take his way there. He look at any greater whatsoever. Castle will be able to find himself the first. He just continues on to blow. Already on 10 frags himself. Will be falling down. Sunser and Pip both helping out. It's all left. Poop's hands now will be left. Eventually, it'll be difficult to isolate him out, but he decides to push up a ground. Running down into the ramp, multiple eyes on top of them. The op from Hype finding one, and every piece starts to fall together. No kill taken from Incilio, and just like that, a free B site. That B site busted on down. Most when you don't have advantages into the early round to work with, that's not going to help you. Now friends and will do so hype, pushing up a little bit closer. The damage into this round has been done by both of the teams. Few players down to very low health. Bob XD actually the one to drop. With that, just spraying through the smoke, able to shut him down. Prospects move, walking their way up into the B side. If Rolf wins this fight, the B side is wide open, and he will do so. Pip, the one to fall. The B side under control. Prospects in a good spot to take their eight and win the half. Going a little bit slower with it, but focusing on that B control once again is the key detail. And this is a retake Incilio has to go for. They're trying to boost over to see something. But it's not panning out. The smoke's being a little bit too problematic. Until... Just a moment later, does at least give coverage, but with 18 seconds left and still being smoked off, they will be forced to flash on through. Castle will be able to obtain one, but needs to find a lot more. Finds three, in fact. Seven seconds left. They have to immediately stick this bomb. I don't even think he has the time, even if he did a bit further into that. Normally, the rest of them do hold up. To help compensate for the struggles of dad on that side of Encilio. And this is more like what we're used to seeing from Encilio. A bit of the split pressure. A little bit of something wild going for it. The mid push into the B site. And able to play together as a team. With the bait and switch with the late B push. And even faking the ability to create some space. And maybe even find an opening. He's able to catch him crossing through, getting that bomb planter. And Franson able to get a double with it. And they've completely been able to do a check mark. Able to get everything they would like. And Bob XD has the oh. checkmate. They're all lined up. No one clears in between the corner. He runs out of ammo for a second, but he's able to just dance around and make it. Fook has it all set up, but he ends up peeking out a little bit early, gives away a bit of advanced information, and Rolf is unable to respond only one in turn on that trade. But that won't stop them from going aggressive. They do want to try to end this here and now. And now that'll be the challenge of Franson as he's able to obtain one of the players. And this nade could find awesome. some decent collateral as well as the op from Hype. And now suddenly it's Castle in a 1v3 to keep their hopes alive. And Bob's on the flank. Checkmate. Prospects close it out. 16, I suppose. That odd far right side of the A site and going for rushing for the control. They are able to close the space. Pip at this close range. But he does run out of ammo in his mag eventually. The bait and switch does work out as they decide to head towards B instead and get that bomb down in a more traditional sense. Get some nice damage, leaving it to the 2v3. Most importantly, it will be this flank coming on in that allows for this retake to happen to Franson with the clean one shot. 
They have a pretty good awareness of where these last two players are, but still have to land the headshots, and that would is what Franson is able to do. Just an AK star now, just about coming in. Setting up now for that classic B split that's consistently deadly against the opposition, but a quick rotation from Bob, only able to find the one a key recovery trade from Dad, and if he can find hype, caught looking to try to pick up one of the weapons, could all fall apart in just a moment, but his teammate instead goes down first, but his shoulder peeks out. It gives a warning system, so Bob wow. is able to go aggressive. They secure the bomb, and now Franson could go for a bit of a lurk, but Santor will be aware enough to hold that. And Prospects are able to recover this despite losing the way they are. They're pushing A, actually. Three players start to make their way. Center and pulled. Both able to find themselves one a piece. I'm getting dropped as well, and a complete cleanup once more. These pistols aren't able to do too much. Speaking of, Franson. Still coming in with the... Pushing around the smoke. Bob's able to find one. Make it three. This man's so good on the rifle every single time. Mid, leaning, prepared for these rotations. These late mollies aren't going to allow them to break into the site without getting burnt to a crisp. Hype's able to benefit off of that. Find a double. And the play's been made. Sure, Hype's forced a little bit into the open, but he's able to straight through, create the space. Franson finds one. The direct nade allows Hype to follow up. And now Castle has no space to work with, just a deagle, and Branson will Time try. Fail, unable to complete. There we go. That's a good play. The wraparound comes in. They're stuck on the back of the side. Castle says a one way to work with. Does in fact fall down. So will Pip. And then Colt, they know where he is. Even more difficult by the moment. Colt tries to lurk through, does catch a beautiful timing, but unable to land any of those necessary frags. Santer does at least reclaim B main, but that's the only success for the side of Encilio as the rest of the map's taken over. The bomb's planted down on A, and prospects are tying this. They know that this A site is about to get completely run over, unable to find oh, anything as Franson and Hype run them through. This round is already done. I would love to see prospects try to hunt to remove these rifles as these three weapons are necessary for Encilio to have a chance to try to clutch it into the next for OT as prospects have found 15. They're squirming around the maps. They're going for this. This is important. Even though it might not seem like it, you take 15, sure. But these weapons need to be stripped apart. Full CT spawn control. Full T spawn as well. No way back in. Spook. Gonna be having a great oh. shot on that. How does he realize where he is? What a shot is that? And now Kessel and Center, two players, were casting like it is. Most important thing ever. And it is. Rolf, sneak past oh, the Oh, they're angle. getting sandwiched. They have oh, no way no. out of this. They're surrounded. Castle, he has to fight. They could uh, they could run through with all four of their bodies oh, to at least going. give the concession, but it's not going to give anything other than Spook an additional three frags to end the map. Yep. 16 to 14. Prospects with a very surprising 2-0, but an impressive one that they had to earn because, I mean, the players on Encilio stepped up on the second map. So it wasn't like the first where there was some